G'day, I'm Tristan Winters, one of the co-founding directors of UniSA SCS. I'm currently in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, researching some of the world's leading interior green, renewable, sustainable technologies and initiatives. And we're excited to bring these to you for the Elton Mayo Building Retrofit Project. So please, sit back and allow our directors Simone, Peter and Marcus to show you why UniSA SCS should be your sustainable consultancy partner for the Elton Mayo Retrofit. Thank you. We take pride in partnering with our clients to provide sustainable solutions for all requirements. In particular, some of our key major projects have received Green Star accreditation at all rating levels based on client resources and budgets. Environmental management planning is of vital importance for the Elton Mayo Retrofit project. Accordingly, we believe the Credit 6 is vitally important to be enacted as part of the project works. Under this credit, there will be the establishment of an environmental management plan. And we believe the enactment of the environmental management plan during the early project life cycle stages around the final design and planning stage is vital for establishing a strong culture of environmental awareness and consideration amongst all contractors and consultants working on the site. We've performed an initial review of the works and have drafted some an extract environmental management plan which is included in our submission but the main hazards that we've identified include hazardous substances, noise, air quality, security and traffic management and waste management. Now as part of that we've established some targets which we believe need to be met on the project. We've also implemented some measures for managing those. In addition, maintaining subcontractor and consultant compliance with the environmental management plan is of the utmost importance. That's why we believe that it is important to incorporate this into all contractual documentation for the engagement of subcontractors and consultants. By doing so, we can make sure that we're upfront with our consultants and they're aware of the environmental obligations that they're required to comply with during the project. Our goals for the Elton Mayo project are to have zero incidents or to respond to any complaints or incidents within a 24 hour period. We've successfully achieved this on our previous project and we, can, we believe that this needs to be and must be implemented on the Elton Mayo project because the building is located within a fully operational tertiary environment and there are also occupants inside the building on a daily basis We need to minimise all possible disruptions. One of the most cost effective and simple ways to increase the energy performance of the building is to install wells rated fixtures and fittings. By reducing water consumption and flow rates we find that our projects can achieve a far superior Green Star rating. G'day, I'm Marcus. And a good way to start cutting back on your energy bills and to become more sustainable is the installation of lighting timers and motion detectors within rooms like offices, bathrooms, corridors, stairways. That way you can reduce the running time of your lighting fittings. We've counted 300 T12 36 watt fluorescent tubes. Now those tubes have quite a depreciated performance over time. We suggest that we use 16 watt LED TA tubes will actually give off more lumens, more consistent power and use about 37% less energy. G'day, my name is Peter. Indoor environment quality of a building is essentially important for residing occupants. This includes the visual comfort of occupant space and amenity spaces within the building. As part of the Elton Mayer building, visual comfort glare reduction is reduced by the installation of lines and workstation is required of sufficient daylight for the occupants. As required by Credit 14B, the Elton Mayer building provides amenity spaces such as a luxury and breakout space for staff where they can spend their time aside from their workstation and recreational space. Construction waste is a big problem on construction projects. This is why we take pride in working with our clients to implement an effective waste management plan and managing construction and demolition waste. By reducing our initiatives and removing demolition to make it more focused on deconstruction, we find that we can limit the amount of construction waste that's created. My role as a site supervisor on site is to implement a construction waste management plan. I ensure all materials on site are utilised. There are approximately 300 fluorescent tubes in this building. We propose to remove and replace these fluorescent lights with LEDs. Our aim is to collect and store the tubes in a signed accessible skin bin. Site. The tubes are made up of three components, mercury, glass and aluminium. All these things can be recycled. Our aim is to transport the tubes to a 3-0 waste collector as opposed
managed to go into landfill. Part of our assessment of the Yeldon Mayo building, potable water usage and methods for reducing use is an important consideration to take into account as part of the sustainable retrofit work. Tertiary institutions are consistently renowned for being some of Australia's largest consumers of potable water. In part, that's due to the high number of fixtures and fittings and the large number of persons that are using those fittings within an hour. So as part of the Elton Mayo retrofit project, we've identified as part of credit 18B some measures that need to be implemented. With respect to land use and ecology, credit number 23.3, we submit that the Elton Mayer building should undergo a comprehensive hazmat chemical analysis and identification screening before the commencement of any demolition and construction works. While the age of construction, 1997, means that the likelihood of any toxic or hazardous chemicals is low, there still could be the presence of lead, PCBs, asbestos, mercury, or other toxic and harmful chemicals in the building. These chemicals tend to be quite pervasive and can be found in a huge range of fixtures, fittings, interior fit-outs, loose furniture, fixing mechanisms, mechanical and hydraulic lines, etc. Due to the pervasive and dangerous nature of these chemicals, we propose to engage a specialist, ISO certified testing consultant to thoroughly go through the building, identify, catalogue, record, test if need be, and finally stabilise and remove in accordance with all legislation and regulation any hazardous or toxic chemicals. This will ensure that the Elton Mayo building is a safe, healthy and enjoyable environment for all occupants, both internal and external, for the entire life cycle of the building.